Hi everybody. Well, it appears we will be having powerful earthquakes this year because the rotation of the planet is temporarily slowing. Temporarily slowing and that means that seismic activity will be on the rise. And if you want to learn how to protect yourself in an earthquake, you can click on the link below and watch this little video here. Yes. It's undoubtedly bad news for those living within affected areas. You know, you guys, well, that live near a fault line. Is it the planet rotation temporarily slowing or are they telling us that they will induce earthquakes 2018. And yeah, there has been a lot of mainstream media headline news about California. California, get ready for the big one. Get ready for the big one. I know you guys have heard that forever, but you should get ready for the big one because we are dealing with an awful lot of evil, crazy lunatics who, unfortunately, have the means to induce earthquakes. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please do some, please do some research on weather modification, geoengineering, HARP, H-A-A-R-P. But it's not just HARP, but they're, they're, look, they can set off ultra-low frequencies and induced freak, uh, earthquakes. Man, oh man. Well, what else? Deadly cold disrupts U.S. Warming centers open in deep south. That's right, Florida. Warming centers. Warming centers. I read an article yesterday, and this one was quoted as saying, I feel like I'm living in New England. Heard on radio news in my car, Alabama had eight degrees. It's very cold here in South Carolina. But apparently nine people have died. How many animals are not making it this winter? Indiana, Indianapolis, early Tuesday, tied a record low of minus 12 degrees. Uh, it was minus 55 in Wisconsin. I believe I got a comment from a subscriber who said that. Uh, Lafayette, minus 19. And residents are complaining of a hum. Really, a hum. Duke Energy said it was caused by extra power surging through utility lines to meet electricity demands. Really. Or is the hum coming from Gwen Towers, cell phone towers? Who knows? Cold is nothing to trifle with. Chicago area wind chills expected between minus 35 and minus 30 degrees. Atlanta hospitals are seeing a surge in emergency room visits for hypothermia and other ailments. The temperature in Atlanta fell to 13 degrees before dawn this morning. We have a group of patients who are coming in off the street who are looking to escape the cold. We have dozens and dozens of those every day. Police in St. Louis said a homeless man was found dead inside a trash bin, frozen to death. Temperatures dropped to negative six degrees in St. Louis. Wisconsin, a 27-year-old woman whose body was found Monday evening on the shore of Lake Winnebago, likely died of exposure. 
these are bizarre writings on the deaths and they don't they hardly mention any facts two men whose bodies were found Sunday showed signs of hypothermia police believe the cold weather also may have been a factor in the death of a man in Bismarck North North Dakota his body was found near a river warming shelters have opened across the south Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. Georgia saw one of its coldest temperatures of the winter, two degrees. Plunging overnight temperatures in Texas brought rare snow flurries as far south as Austin. Now, Savannah, Georgia usually has a high of 60 degrees in January. The temperature was at 30 at noontime today. I've never seen icicles in Savannah, but you do now. And Waterloo, a suburb of Evansdale, it was minus 20 degrees. Cold, huh? Very cold. Uh, I'm not interested in this newsletter. Thank you. So, after the flames, allegations of rent gouging fly in devastated wine country communities. Sonoma County. People having very a very difficult time finding a place to rent after they have lost their home to fire. Yeah. Hey, hey, cool. I can now make more money because people will be forced. They'll have to pay something. They'll want to live around their properties if they're rebuilding. So, yeah, let me, let me just be really greedy and make money off of people who have lost their homes. Sick 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 it's a disease I'm sorry it's not just in this country um I live here in this country so I speak more to and about Americans than I do you know those of you in in your Western European countries but I know that this is going on all over the place I have a lot of subscribers you guys living in your respective European countries where you're facing the same sick, twisted human beings, your fellow citizens, just as greedy and just as sick and twisted and just as dumbed down, just as just behaving in ways that we really never have seen before. So yeah, rents have skyrocketed in the areas that are still suffering the consequences of the fires. Sonoma County, the rent, the median rent has gone up 32%, 23% in Napa County, 16% in Santa Rosa. How sad are we? But let's see. Wow. Mudslides. That Get ready for your mudslides, guys. Um, it's a danger. It's replacing the danger of fire in California. My God. When, when Well, it doesn't stop. Not when you're at war. It only increases. And while an awful lot of people may come across this video and say, Oh my God, she's crazy. She needs meds. They're just plainly stupid, ignorant, but willfully ignorant because they just don't want to do any research because they're just girls who want to have fun. Um, <laughs> while some of this may be natural, we don't know now because man does have the technology to cause all of these disasters that I just went through.
all these hills normally have a protective cover. That's all gone. It's gone because of the fires. Almost 100% gone. What's left is black gray hillside that officials, officials and residents alike fear will become ashy waves of flood water with the first rain of a so far bone dry season. Manufactured by man, that bone dry season.